chemistry of phenothiazines. First of all, let us see what is the phenothiazine ring system. So this is the phenothiazine ring system, which is having the different components. You can see here phenyl group, which is attached on both sides. So pheno is one of the prefix that we can use. Second one is the sulfur, which is represented as thia. Similarly, nitrogen is present, which is represented as aza. And this is a six-member ring system containing nitrogen, so it can be indicated by suffix "-ine". So combining all these, we will get pheno plus thia plus aza plus "-ine", that is the phenothiazine. So that is the name derived from this ring system. Now let us see the numbering in the phenothiazines. So if you see this numbering we have started the numbering from the benzene ring system and we have given the numbering 5 to the nitrogen and 10 to the sulfur we can also give the numbering in another way in opposite direction now we have given the numbering 5 to the sulfur and 10 to the nitrogen so which is correct and which is strong in the first type of numbering we have given the number 10 to the sulfur which is wrong as sulfur is given more preference over the nitrogen. So in the second type of numbering, we have given the number 5 to the sulfur, which is correct way of numbering. Now let us see what is the group at the second position in the phenothiazine ring system. So phenothiazines are having a group at the second position. This group is an electron withdrawing group, which may be either chloro or trifluoromethyl group. For example, Chlorpromazine is having the chlorine group at the second position and trifluoromazine is having the trifluoromethyl group at the second position. What is the effect of this group at the second position on the potency? So if you see the electronegativity of the group at the second position, trifluoromethyl group is having a more electronegativity than the chlorine. Because of the three fluorine groups, trifluoromethyl group is more electronegative than the chlorine. And then what about the potency? As the electronegativity increases, potency also increases. Therefore, trifluoromazine is more potent than the chlorpromazine. Trifluoromazine is having the trifluoromethyl group, whereas chlorpromazine is having the chlorine group. So that's why trifluoromazine is more potent. Classification of phenothiazines. Phenothiazines can be classified based on the side chain present on the ring system at the nitrogen. The R group may be any type of side chain based on which the phenothiazines are classified. So R group may be either alkyl group, piperidinyl group as well as piperazinyl group. In this way, phenothiazines are classified into mainly three categories based on the side chain present on the ring system. First one, phenothiazines with the alkyl side chain. So this is a simple phenothiazine with alkyl side chain and this is the chlorpromazine. And you can see here the three carbons, one, two and three, that means it is having a propyl side chain. Similarly, another drug in this category is the trifluoromazine. Now the difference between the chlorpromazine and trifluoromazine is chlorpromazine is having the chlorine group at the second position and trifluoromazine is having the trifluoromethyl group at the second position. Except this, both structures are almost same. Now let us go to the phenothiazines with the piperidinyl side chain. So this is one of the structure with the piperidinyl side chain. You can observe here the piperidinyl ring system which is having the methyl group on the nitrogen. And it is also having a methyl thio group at the second position. So this compound is thioridazine. Finally, phenothiazines with piperazinyl side shine. So this is the first structure in this category. You can observe here the piperazine ring system present in this structure. Since it is having the piperazine, the suffix is going to be retained from this name. That is, all these drugs are ended with the perazine. 
So the first structure is the prochlorperazine. You can observe the perazine as the suffix. And second structure is the trifluperazine. And again, just like the chlorpromazine and trifluperazine, here these two drugs differ only by the group at the second position. Prochlorperazine is having the chlorine group at the second position and trifluperazine is having the trifluoromethyl group at the second position. Similarly, other drugs in this category have a simple modification on the piperazine ring system. In the previous lecture, we have seen a methyl group on the piperazine, but here these are having a CH2CH2OH group on the nitrogen. So this drug is the perfinazine and a similar structure is the flufinazine. Again, these two differ only by the group at the second position. Perfinazine is having the chlorine group, whereas flufinazine is having the trifluoromethyl group. So flufinazine, because it is having the trifluoromethyl group at the second position, as well as piperazine side chain, it is the most potent drug in this category. Effective size of the side chain. So let us take again the two examples. First we have seen this is the prochlorperazine. Let us compare this with the chlorpromazine. Prochlorperazine is having the piperazine side chain and chlorpromazine is having the alkyl side chain. What is the distance between the nitrogen of the phenothiazine ring and nitrogen of the piperazine ring in the prochlorperazine? So you can see that one, two, three. Three carbons are there between these two nitrogens. Similarly, if you see in the chlorpromazine, again you can observe three carbons. So which indicates that optimal distance between the two nitrogens is three carbons in case of phenothiazines. Why it is like that? For example, if you take the chlorpromazine, chlorpromazine when it is given in vivo, it can be protonated and can be converted into a quaternary ammonium salt. Now nitrogen has the positive charge and attached with a proton. Now it can form a hydrogen bond with the chlorine at the second position. In order to form a hydrogen bond, the side chain requires three carbons to bring the amine group nearer to the chlorine. If the size of these carbons is uh, greater than 3 or less than 3, it cannot bring the amine group nearer to the group at the second position, so it cannot form the hydrogen bond. So formation of hydrogen bond is essential for the activity of the phenothiazines. That's why phenothiazines are having an electron withdrawing group at the second position, which forms a strong hydrogen bond with the nitrogen in the side chain. Now we have seen that chlorpromazine can form the hydrogen bond because it's having the three carbons in the side chain, which brings the nitrogen nearer to the chlorine to form the hydrogen bond. Then what about the thioredazine? Thioredazine is having the piperidinyl side chain. Even it is having the piperidinyl side chain, still it uh, produces the same effective size. For example, chlorpromazine is having the three carbons. Similarly, if you see in the thioredazine, it also having three carbons between the two nitrogens. That means even the nitrogen is included in the piperidinyl ring system, the effective size is maintained so that they can form the hydrogen bond with the water of the group at the second position. In this way, phenothiazines maintain the effective size of the three carbons to bring the hydrogen bond with the group at the second position. So that's about the various structures and chemistry of the phenothiazines. So phenothiazines with alkyl, piperidinyl and piperazinyl side chain are widely used as the antipsychotics.